What are your short and long-term goals? What are my short and long-term goals? Oh, that's a good question. To be honest with you, I'm more of a live in the moment type of person, so I don't really have any. Please do not use that answer when responding to the really difficult interview question, what are your short and long-term goals? And don't use this answer either. My short-term goal is to get hired with a company so I can start paying my bills. And my long-term goal is to go on holiday to somewhere nice like the Maldives. I've heard it's a really nice place. What are your short and long-term goals has to be one of the hardest interview questions to answer. Now, before you attend your job interview, it is really important to make sure you have a top scoring answer already prepared. So if you have a job interview coming up soon for any role or company, make sure you stay tuned because I promise to give you the perfect response. And just very quickly, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I can then help you pass every job interview you ever attend. And please give the video a like because that motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much indeed. Let's jump straight into the tutorial. So to help you pass your job interview, I will cover the following four things during this tutorial. Number one, I will explain why the interviewer is asking you the question, what are your short and long term goals? Because if you understand why the question is being asked, you can then give the perfect answer. Number two, I will give you three really important tips for answering this difficult interview question. I will then give you seven examples of brilliant long-term goals that are guaranteed to impress the hiring manager. And then finally, number four, I'm going to give you three brilliant example answers in a live interview and all you have to do is choose which one answer option you think is the strongest. So to begin with, why is the interviewer asking you that tricky interview question, what are your short and long term goals? Well, they are asking you this tough interview question because those candidates that have a plan in place of what they are going to do both in the short and long term are more likely to be high achievers. They are also asking you this question because if you say you plan to be working elsewhere in the next year or two, you probably won't get hired. Let me now give you three really important tips for answering the interview question, what are your short and long term goals? Tip number one, one of your short term goals should be to land a job with their company and then quickly learn everything you need to know about the role how your team operates and the company's policies and procedures because this short-term goal once achieved will enable you to start contributing to the company's objectives. Tip number two, one of your long-term goals could be to either gain promotion within their company or gain qualifications or skills in a niche area that enable you to be the go-to expert for an area of specialism in their company. And tip number three is to mention in your answer to the interview question, what are your short and long-term goals, that you have a personal goal outside of work that you will only achieve if you work hard and do a great job for their company. Now, an example of a personal goal could be to save a deposit to buy your first home or pay for evening classes where you will learn new skills or gain additional qualifications. So let me now give you seven examples of brilliant long-term goals that will impress any hiring manager and I will then give you three brilliant example answers in a live interview. Long-term goal number one is to gain leadership experience that will then eventually enable you to become a team leader, a supervisor or a manager. Long-term goal number two is to build a great professional network that enables you to achieve your objectives inside of work. The more talented people you meet within your network, the more you will learn from them. Long-term goal number three is to say that you want to achieve as much as possible at work and then your salary increases significantly. Now there is nothing wrong with being motivated by money, especially if you are working in sales. Long-term goal number four is to write professional articles for industry specific magazines or blogs for websites based on the industry you are working in. Long-term goal number five is to study outside of work and eventually gain 
gain a new degree or academic qualification in a subject that will help you to offer their company more in terms of your skills and expertise. Long-term goal number six is to become an expert or thought leader in your industry. This is a good one. Now this could be achieved by eventually giving talks or presentations to professional bodies or organizations on what you have learned in your job. And long-term goal number seven, before I give you those three brilliant answers, is to become a mentor or coach where you help other people achieve their career goals within their organization. You could also state that you want to help train up new members of staff as and when they join the company. So let me know I'll give you three brilliant example answers in a live job interview to that difficult interview question, what are your short and long-term goals? Please tell me in the comments section below the video which answer option one, two or three you think is the strongest. Here we go. Tell me, what are your short and long-term goals? My short-term goals are to get hired with your company, quickly learn the role, get to know my team, and become a productive and reliable member of the organization. One of my long-term goals is to gain leadership experience, preferably within your company. One day, I hope to become a leader or a manager, but I know I will only achieve that goal if I work hard, gain experience, and impress my employer. Another one of my long-term goals is to buy my first house. Again, this will only happen if I am successful at work and I gain long-term employment with the same company. What are your short and long-term goals? My short-term goal is to become good at public speaking. I've always had a fear of giving talks and presentations to people, but this is an area I want to develop in, and I have been studying books and online training courses to help develop my skills. My long-term goal is to gain a degree. It's something I have always wanted to achieve, and I do plan to study in my spare time. Gaining a degree will improve my communication skills, and it will also increase and widen my depth of knowledge, which I hope to use in the workplace to become an expert in an area of specialism. What are your short and long-term goals? One of my short-term goals is to run a marathon and raise money for charity. I've been training really hard to achieve this goal and raising sponsorship, and I believe I will be successful on the day of the marathon, which is in a month's time. My long-term goal is to eventually become a coach or a mentor. So for example, if I am successful and I get hired to work for your company, I would like to get promoted one day and become a manager. This will then enable me to coach and mentor new team members as and when they join your organization. So there's three brilliant example answers to that difficult interview question. Please tell me in the comments section below the video which answer option you think is the strongest. Now the next thing to do if you want to accelerate your learning even further is click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video. Head through to my website passmyinterview.com and you can instantly download my full set of 50 brilliant answers to difficult interview questions. It's a fantastic resource. You can have it in your inbox within two minutes from now, and it's going to put you ahead of the competition at your forthcoming interview. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please give the video a like. Oh, and also, make sure you connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video, and it's always a pleasure to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting my channel. I wish you all the best for passing your interview. Have a great day.